putting uh, or starting to put a pine ceiling in the van and uh, I'm using a center board so obviously there's tongue on one end, uh, groove on the other and you have to work directionally because you have to start and work across. So anyway, what I'm doing is on the center one, uh, as you can see I've, uh, I've laid out um, holes in this, it's I think 91 inches and uh, you know if you'll see it here, uh, yeah right here, these uh, lights they just clip in and I'll, I can show you how we uh, did that uh, in a second and uh, anyway I gotta put a spline in so that it will be uh, bi-directional bi-directional that sounds good anyway yeah you, you can come both off both sides of the board because there's a groove now on both sides Okay, an interesting uh, thing that came up uh, with uh, these lights and installing them is, uh, yeah, here I'm going to get a new one. We've uh, actually changed stuff on these. The bracket at the back, it's meant to push into very, uh, I guess, uh, thin plastic or something in these RVs or, and I don't know if you can see the type of... Uh, Thing it has just to hold it in the hole but the problem is the regular hole saws don't work so this is way too I don't know what size hole saw we got like uh, two sets here and uh, we, we, we couldn't get anything that uh, uh, in a hard surface would push in with it in that configuration so what we did was we simply flipped just took it off and flipped it around and so now when it goes in it goes in like this you see that right there rather than pushing in now this way if, if you do get past some type of material it's locked in whereas this way you know unless it's very thin it, it's going to slip out so in the three quarter it, it really doesn't want to um, you know it'll probably stay but it's not what they were designed for in this position, so flip them over. Um, yeah, I'll have to, uh, yeah, okay, just a second. Uh, yeah, so far they look like very good lights. Uh, yeah, eBay, or, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, just a second. Yeah, the, the quality is very good. Yeah, it doesn't really say it. It doesn't give a manufacturer's name. It's uh, China. But anyway, I'll try and put a link for them. And uh, uh, so far, and they're bright. And I think they come in two different um, uh, Kelvins, uh, daylight and uh, warm. But anyway, uh, these are the warm. They're very bright, and they're going to go on a dimmer. So anyway, we'll uh, continue on. Okay, uh... I'm putting in this uh, uh, ceiling and uh, these pieces are 135 and 5 16 inches so uh, there's a little bit of a procedure here to uh, do it by yourself so anyway what I do is as you can see on the far end here I put a, a block of wood uh, with a clamp that's 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 my one buddy holding up the one end and then I put the board in uh, well, I actually have to stick it up over the headliner because of the length and then I uh, I start at this end I get it in here Right in there and then what I do is on the outside. I set a screw and That just holds it. It's not right up. It's just uh, you know, it's just starting uh, This line here. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, you see you follow it like there and goes right to the other end eh? so anyway, we'll bring it back here yeah, so that's the one end and now what I'll do 
is I will go down here and I will um, uh, make sure it fits because you know sometimes you never know whether there's uh, insulation or whatever uh, or just something not fitting right. And then what I'll do is along the edges here where these boards are I'll uh, do a little squiggly line. I'll take it down and do a little squiggly line on each one of those. I put glue on them and because I know it fits I uh, nail it in and uh, it should hold now in the kitchen area, which is this area, you can see here on the uh, studs, I've, I've got uh, quite a few more uh, uh, screws going into this uh, in, into this beam that's going across. Uh, uh, what I do is I, I go, uh, actually I was going here and here so that it, it can't rock uh, with just one center point. So that's what I've done along here and uh, there's more under here. So hopefully it'll give, it'll give me a good contact point uh, for the kitchen. So anyway, we're just in a uh, situation here where we're starting to close it in. Uh, I've got two boards to put in here and then I don't know what to finish it, but I just realized that uh, I need foam insulation. And I think that'll bring me up to, uh, I figure I need two to three cans. That'll probably bring me up to almost 12 cans of insulation that I've used in here. So uh, uh, there's quite a bit that uh, did go in. So along with, I think, three bags of insulation or the equivalent thereof. Anyway, time to put it in. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken this board, I checked it out, it fit, no twists or uh, concerns. So what I did was I uh, marked my spots and now I put glue on it. And uh, this is uh, kind of the tricky part because you're handling more than one end and uh, you, you're got to be careful because you get this glue on the upholstery or anything and you're foobard. So anyway, that's what I'll do now. I'll pull it out. Stick it up here and repeat the process because uh, on the initial test fit. Okay, guys, uh, as a side note, I just want to show something here um, uh, on this ceiling. And what it is, is when you're nailing the, uh, the stuff in, what I do is I'll do a couple like this. One, two... And then I'll turn the gun and I'll go the other way. And I'll, I'll get them going in different directions because what it ends up doing is it holds better because what you're doing is you're, you're crossing, you're, you're crossing the, um, the brads going in, uh, in opposite directions. And it's, it has the effect of pinning. Like, uh, I've done a lot of this on drywall where there's no, uh, or not on drywall, but on uh, baseboard where you're uh, doing it into drywall and there's no stud to draw. Well, if you push it in and then you cross the brads in opposite directions, um, it, it will uh, hold it. Eh? So uh, that's just uh, an added uh, thing that I'm doing here. So just so that you know, I don't know if you've run into this. It's uh, I, I think it's pretty common, but uh, it just makes common sense. But uh, And I'm not being shy. I'm putting about eight brads in each one of these boards Eight brads and glue, like, you know what? I think I'd have to be skidding down the highway upside down to uh, take this stuff off the ceiling. So uh, anyway, that's uh, the procedure I've been using. So I gotta run out now and uh, get some foam so I can put this last uh, last strip in because I have all these cavities in here all the way around. It's kind of like a, a wire chase that, uh, you know, we've been uh, running stuff in and it's darn near impossible to put um, uh, a bat insulation in there so I, I just have to check with my contractor here see what my brother says and uh, if he says it's a go well that's what I'll do so I don't want to box him in eh? so and pretty much uh, the only wiring he's got left is in the kitchen here uh, different switches and uh, you know all, all the components are going to be run to here and now what I'll do is I'll, I'll finish this up you can see there's a water line going uh, I don't know if you can see it right there. It's going across the back and along here and in behind the cabinet. And it'll be, yeah, it comes back here. Because the uh, the sink will, or the, not the sink, but the, the faucet will be in this area somewhere. And there, there's a diesel tank that feeds the uh, furnace. So, anyway, it's starting to look good. Okay, here I am uh, this morning. Uh, I'm doing the part over the bed here, and uh, what I want to do is get as close as I can in here 
And so what I've done is I've taken um, different pieces, uh, short pieces, and gone from the front to the back, uh, made sure they fit. Uh, I made a small one just to uh, to do the end here. Uh, where are we here? Yeah, right here. No, I'm in the wrong end. Right here. You see, I've already cut it. And uh, now what I'm doing is I'm going along, and in e each one of these places, there's these uh, bump outs for the uh, van ceiling. And uh, what I'm doing now is I'm trying to uh, taper them and do things to uh, ma make this fit right across because I want it to be as tight as possible because there's going to be a shelf go up here and I'm going to bring this stuff down on the side here. So anyway, uh, what I'm having to do is relieve it on the back and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing here uh, or how I'm doing that. Uh, it's actually kind of a neat tool. Uh, Got to keep your fingers in the clear though, because <laughs> it could be painful. So anyway, I'll show you what I'm up to here. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm relieving these edges and uh, opening it up. And uh, it would be hard to do this uh, with just a uh, saw or whatever. You'd have to chisel it out, you know, and uh, do all that kind of stuff. But what I'm what I'm using here. Is this uh, little pistola and uh, it's a one inch uh, grinder but you, <laughs> you kind of got to watch how you hold it because if, if you think you're gonna grab it like this oh boy gonna hurt so anyway uh, this is uh, the tool that I've been using and it it does a really good job of relieving the material So basically, it's just a matter of um, uh, going and uh, seeing where where you have uh, the shortfall of um, material or too much material, and just uh, going along and <coughs> nibbling away, and uh, eventually it'll fit. So uh, um, I'm I'm just going to uh, uh, get that piece in as the reason I want to get it as close as possible because then when I've um, when I finished and, and it's in this edge that's up against the wall now when I put the the next piece of this stuff it will go right up and it'll have a, a clean edge and hopefully I, I should have to have a very small um, uh, piece to cover that if anything uh, we'll see how it turns out I was actually losing sleep last night <laughs> trying to think of uh, how I could do this because there is a deviation along the 52 inches I believe I'm out um, three-eighths of an inch so I might be able to shim the one edge enough that uh, we'll see how it uh, works because it's uh, it's only on the top one corner where you can't uh, really see it from inside the van but uh, I uh, I'll try to hide that without anybody knowing it and um, that way it's uh, it's much cleaner looking so anyway I'm gonna continue on here and uh, we'll see how things uh, turn out okay okay so anyway uh, this is the board as you can see the ends here I've had to uh, taper them and play and uh, they're both they've both been uh, shaped and I cut the notches in for the handles or not the handles, the uh, locking hardware. And it should just clip in. Any luck. Here's the test. Yeah. See if you pass. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Good job, honey. Tight, tight enough that it almost stays there. Uh, so now what, what I'll do is I'll uh, bring it down and uh, stain it. And then same as uh, the treatment that I've done here, I'll just put maybe uh, four, five uh, screws in to have that same look. 
and uh, that completes that. So anyway, another job done, on to the next one. You're doing a great job, honey. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, and soon we'll be out on the road, Rob, Rob, up, out on the road, Rob and Jan Canvan. Yep.